Hello there guys, it's Joel here aka Galax and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today for a more casual kind of laid back vlog unboxing type of video. If you're new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button. If you enjoy this video give it a thumbs up. I'm not gonna lie, I've been pretty slacking um, on YouTube so I apologise for that lately. Um, basically while stuff's just being renovated in the house it's not the best environment to like create videos in and even though i'm still not in my office I, I just really wanted to get this kind of review unboxing up because keep people keep messaging me about it on instagram and i'm like okay yes i will do it because it's something that i really want to do anyway um but yeah i keep waiting for, to like have my room all set up and like my filming space like i did have in my old place but it's just not gonna be that quick um if you've bought a house or renovated a house, then you'll know what I'm going through. But if you haven't, then you might not. One of my last few videos, I got the Balenciaga Expander sneakers, which I've been very, very, very excited about. But I was even more excited for this sneaker release. And it just so happens that I got them both within like two weeks of each other. I think uh, the Expander's uh, production had been delayed. So uh, they came out a lot later than they were supposed to. Um, and then the runners ended up just coming out at a similar time. But it was a bit weird, like the release of the runners, but we'll go into that in a second. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you can check it out. It's at Galax, and I post outfits nearly every single day. And I posted a few outfit pics in the runners already. I'm filming in the lounge today, so you have to forgive me if it's a little bit echoey. And I went to my uh, friend's wedding yesterday. So I'm a little fragile today, and my voice might sound a bit deeper. It's quite sexy, so... I feel like my YouTube channel is very chaotic right now and it's just a reflection of my life at the moment, so it is what it is and it's just going to have to be that. Uh, so basically, this is the uh, Balenciaga runner. I actually filmed a little bit of me when I did unbox them because I've worn them a few times since. I've actually posted a few outfits over on Instagram of me styling them with different outfits. They're a lot more comfortable and I feel like they're more wearable than the Expander because the Expander is very niche. Like the Expander's not for everyone. Um, but I feel like this is more for everyone. So I feel like the runners are a mix of like track triple s like a lot of different uh, sneakers they also people are comparing them to asics or asics however you want to say them and i do get like the design on the top does look very much like that but then again also they uh, remind me a bit of the margella fusion sneakers if that is their name because these do look like they've been like ripped up and like chopped up deconstructed and then put back together and there's like large bits of obvious like glue but it's intended, so that's why it reminds me of the Margiela ones. I also like that they're heavily distressed, and mine are actually a lot more distressed than the ones on the website, because when you look online, the white ones look kind of like pure white, but then when you get, when you order them, or when you see them in store, because I've seen them in a few different Balenciaga stores already, they've got a lot of, like, distressing per pair, like it's all individual, which is really, really nice. Um, I like how distressed they look anyway. Everyone knows that I have dirty tracks, because um, everyone's like clean your sneakers and it's like that's how I like them and now they already come like that so that's perfect. Um, I also like how they have like handwritten numbers so like the size on the front 42. Um, it says it on the back as well but it's more like it's not doesn't look like it's been written with a sharpie. <laughs> and they've got that new kind of like Balenciaga logo on the tongue here as well. Um, some people say that looks like two like Nike ticks like upside down but I don't think that I think it just looks like a B, but without part of the B, if you know what I mean. These are quite pricey. They're cheaper than the expanders. The expanders are around what, like 900 and something, whereas these were like 700 and something. So <laughs> it's not a lot cheaper, but um, it is cheaper than the expanders. So the first time we saw these sneakers as well was in the Winter 21 show. Well, lookbook images because there was no shows at that time. Uh, when it was released and there's actually more colorways so at the moment we've had white we've had like all white we've had all black and then we've had like the um the like burgundy with silvery kind of so we've had three colors uh, from the balenciaga website 
But also, prior to the Balenciaga launch, they did an exclusive launch with Kith. Um, and for the Kith exclusive, they included a little, like, numbered uh, piece for the, the laces. I don't know what you call it when it's like a tag that's just for the laces. So there's nothing different about the shoe. It's the exact same shoe, exact same sneaker, but with a, uh, like, numbered tag on the laces, like Kith. I'll try and find a picture of it and put it here. Because I knew that these sneakers were coming, um, like I've sp spoken to the um, the staff at Balenciaga and knew that they were coming out towards the end of the month. I knew that they were coming, so I was like, what is this Kith one? Why is it different? It's no different. I feel like if companies do exclusives with uh, brands, they should have like a special colorway or something that makes it significantly different because they ended up charging like $200 more. I think they were a thousand pounds or like a thousand dollars or even like $1,100 or something for the exact same sneaker. You would just get it a week early with a little numbered thing on the laces. And it's like, that for me isn't a big enough incentive to purchase it. I'll just wait for a week and then buy it a lot cheaper without the little Kith tag because it just seemed a bit pointless to me. Um, but if you're a big fan of Kith, then I, I assume that that kind of thing would be, you know, intriguing and you might purchase it. Um, but it's kind of shady because I think that people would be like, oh, it's just an exclusive with Kith. Like, that's how I'm going to have to get these sneakers. So then they buy them. And then, like, a couple of weeks later, they're available everywhere just without that tag. And it's like, Ugh. So, yeah, but I absolutely love them. I'm glad I waited. Um, and I'm glad I got them from the Balenciaga website, but my shopping assistant helped me order them. But yeah, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. They are so comfy. They're a lot more casual than like the Expander. They're still like wide. They're just not like super chunky. Everyone's referring to them as like chunky dad sneakers still. And I think they are a little bit, but they're, they feel a lot less than the Triple S and the Track. Like they feel more streamlined and they feel lighter, but it's definitely not like a platform sneaker. What's really interesting as well, I don't, if you follow me on Instagram, the white and blue version of the runners, which I've seen on, some people's Instagrams, but I've not seen them in store and I've not seen them online or anywhere. Basically, I saw them for pre-order on Luisa Villaroma like maybe like three months ago and then they took them down immediately. So they obviously weren't supposed to be selling them, um, but it was that blue and white colorway. And now I've seen them like start to appear in other places. And then actually on a few websites for like pre-order, especially American sites like, um, is it Bergdorf Goodman and like Neiman Marcus, I think I've seen some alternate colorways of the runners, like pink and all that kind of stuff. So we are gonna get more colorways. I know there's a black and white colorway that we saw in the show as well, but I haven't seen that for like pre-order or release anywhere yet. For the product details for the runner, it says leather free, mesh, nylon, worn out effect, printed size at the edge of the toe, embossed size at the back, runner logo printed on exterior, made in Italy, uh, white with a soft cloth, 70% polyester, 30% Polyurethane, urethane, polyurethane. There we go. Uh, they're 785 on the Balenciaga website. But yeah, I've been wearing them quite often uh, and they're extremely comfortable and I really, really love them. And now I'm gonna show you what they look like on. I got an eight, so a UK eight, which is a European 42. I find that all Balenciaga shoes fit kind of big, but maybe my feet are getting smaller, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let me try these on for you. Um, I'm not in like an outfit or anything. I'm literally just going to try them on for you and show you what they look like on. Um, so don't judge. <laughs> I hope you have enjoyed this chilled kind of review unboxing video of the Balenciaga 2021 runners. Um, I'd love to know what you think of them in the comments below, whether you're a fan, whether you're not a fan, whether you want to see them compared to the expanders or something like that. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next video, hopefully with some house renovation updates. Um, yeah, we'll see you then. Bye.